Good evening. My senior research project is on the bacterial reduction through hand washing. But before we get into the scope of the research, here is a little bit about me. My name is Anaya Turpin. I currently attend George Washington High School. I plan to attend the University of William & Mary in the fall to major in biochemistry in hopes of becoming a cardiothoracic surgeon. As I said in the previous slide, I would like to go into the healthcare field to pursue medicine. And bacteria is heavily spread throughout the field. COVID was a hard time for everyone. It made me realize how short life really is. Due to germs and the spread of bacteria, I lost two family members. If you don't wash your hands, bacteria will accumulate and you will develop a virus or even a disease. I am testing different brands of soaps in hopes of finding which one is best in reducing bacteria so that I can hopefully advocate to people how good and bad these popular brands really are. Before I explain how I conducted my research, it is best to understand how others conducted their research. The main ingredient found in antibacterial soaps is triclosan. As a person uses triclosan, they are lathering around oil, grease, and dirt in hope for the water to remove all the germs from their hands. In fact, with this ingredient, it shows no comparison into the effect of non-antibacterial soap. Scientists have tried to prove how effective one soap actually is compared to any others. However, most studies in the case of testing effectiveness have performed their own experiments and manipulated others to show how effective soap is, but have not yet closed any gap, which is why I am conducting this experiment. The amount of bacteria can vary through the elimination process. Although the studies did not reveal which soaps they use, it is more significant to test out many in order to see what the underlying factor is. Not all bacteria can be removed through reduction because it is a hit or miss process and it cannot stand independently because it depends on the reducing agent, which in this case is antibacterial soap. Reduction through using antibacterial soap is usually always high statistically, but it depends on the ingredients of the soaps. The germs that can be accumulated along with bacteria can vary and can help draw the conclusion that antibacterial soap will reduce the situation. Germs are easily spread even through the air, but antibacterial soap has been used to reduce it. In recent studies, there were step-by-step -step instructions listed, which helped form my directions that were given to my participants on how to correctly wash your hands. In order to correctly wash your hands, you must lather the soap in circular motions and switch the direction at least three times throughout the process. The vigorosity of hand washing has impacted many of my sources' results in the matter of reducing more bacteria. Essentially, the faster you wash, the more bacteria on the participant's hands that is eliminated. Although different methods were used to accumulate bacteria, accumulation is a huge factor that could skew the results of any experiment. Accumulation happens when many surfaces are touched without washing your hands. If one person touches multiple surfaces and another person touches more, then the first person will accumulate more bacteria. My research question is, which hand soap leaves behind the most bacteria after an individual washes their hands? Since I am testing antibacterial soap and non-antibacterial soap, I chose the null hypothesis that if hands are washed with each of the different brands of soap, then there will be no difference in bacteria growth. After forming my null hypothesis, it led me to my research hypothesis which is if hands are washed with antibacterial hand soap and non-antibacterial hand soap, then the non-antibacterial hand soap will produce more bacteria. My independent variable is the different brands of soaps, Dial, Dove, Soft Soap, Dawn, and Mrs. Myers. My dependent variable is the amount of bacteria accumulated. My control variable was the hands washed with water. My constants were the environment, amount of soap, temperature of water, hand swab, nutrient agar petri dish, incubation time, and the amount of time that the hands were washed. Now that we know my variables, here's how I conducted my experiment. First, I obtained consent from my administration and my participants. Next, I randomized a sample of six people from Governor's School and AET through an online group. Then I gathered my materials of petri dishes, soaps, and consuabs. Once I picked my sample, we gathered in the lab. Before I collected my data, I labeled my petri dishes and started my testing. I wet the cotton swab and swabbed the palm of everyone's right hand. Then I made X's and covered the entire petri dish with the cotton swabs. 
Before leading my participants on how to wash their hands, I set a timer of 30 seconds. I instructed them to wet their hands and then pumped one pump of soap into each of their right hands and proceeded to tell them exactly what to do. They switched the direction of washing their hands every seven seconds, which was three times. I then placed the cotton swabs on the petri dishes labeled for after with X's again. Then I taped both sides of the petri dishes and laid them upside down in the incubator. After 48 hours, I used a Sharpie to count my bacterial colony. At the end of the process, I compiled my raw data and conducted a one-way ANOVA statistical test. At the significance level of 0.05, the null hypothesis was rejected with the P being less than alpha since my p-value was 0.014. This graph shows the differences of how effectively the soaps eliminated bacteria from the participants' hands. The results show the soaps on a scale as to how much bacteria was reduced from before to after washing hands. As you can see in this slide, the soft soap group, illustrated by the green bar, shows the most positive results, meaning that it was the most effective in removing bacteria from the hands. The lines through the bars represent the standard error present, which shows the accuracy of the mean computation, which means the bars had a lot of room to vary. But as you can see, the results for water illustrated by the purple bar should have been much lower, but instead it was more positive, which could have been impacted by my participants' accumulation. The antibacterial soap that reduced the most bacteria was dial soap, followed by Mrs. Myers. At a 0 0.05 significance level, there is sufficient evidence to, to conclude that the antibacterial and non-antibacterial soaps removed more bacteria from the hands aside from only using water. Water was my control group. I expected it to stay the same from before to after, but instead it multiplied from before to after washing hands. Since they were lathering their hands together, it caused the bacteria to spread even more. Although I tested antibacterial soap progress, the non-antibacterial soap was the most effective in removing bacteria from the hands. Future research calls for testing other antibacterial and non-antibacterial soaps to determine the underlying factor that causes such a drastic reduction amongst the two. My limitations consist of the following. My participants only consisted of females, although male and female bacteria can differ. If I would have included males in my study, it would have been more representative. Since my random sample consisted of only females, most of my participants had artificial nails, which could, have imp which could mean that they accumulated more bacteria throughout the day. Another limitation could have been how aggressive or soft my participants washed their hands. Although I told them when to switch direction, my participants had the leeway of speed when washing hands. A better way to fix this issue would have been to show a video of me doing it and allow them to do it with the video. Also, my convenient sampling method was a limitation. I picked popular brands of soaps, which was biased and could have been eliminated by using an online wheel. I then chose participants that were close to me in geography. That could have been eliminated by choosing people from different schools. Much like all of my sources, my results show that antibacterial soaps remove bacteria from hands, but my results also show which soap was the most effective. As expected from two of my sources, the non-antibacterial soap was the most effective in removing bacteria from the hands. In the real world, this means people should be encouraged to use more non-antibacterial soaps in their households instead of using antibacterial hand soaps in order to create a more healthy and safe environment. Although I chose to use a timer of 30 seconds to allow my participants to wash their hands, some of my sources suggested using 20 to 30 seconds, which could have produced a different result in my experiment. It was successful because the soaps showed activity and with the exception of one in the control group, they all showed positive results. I had two major takeaways from this experiment. From completing this experiment, it has furthered my love for science and expanded my knowledge on how bacteria works, and I will continue to research ways to reduce bacteria and make the world healthier. I have learned the research inquiry process and will be able to apply it to many projects in the future. Science changes every day, and it makes me happy to know that I helped add to the field. This concludes my presentation. Thank you, Ms. Long, for allowing me to complete my experiment and guiding me along the way. Thank you, Ms. Dillon, for making my petri dishes and answering all of my questions. Thank you, Ms. Gravitt, for helping with my statistical analysis. 
Thank you, Ms. Agner and Mr. Jeskins for giving me permission to complete my experiment. And thank you, Mr. Bocock, Dr. Bocock, for approving my topic and schedule. Finally, thank you to all of my participants for consenting to be a part of my senior research project. Any questions? So in your conclusions, you said that antibacterial reduces bacteria more than bacterial so correct? And if, that's, if I'm understanding correctly, can you explain or, or give your thoughts on why you think that it is? It seems counterintuitive that mm -hmm. that would be that way. Can you, can you give your thoughts on that? Mr. Eads is asking if why not antibacterial soap removes more bacteria than antibacterial soap. In my research, it didn't tell me, so that's what I was trying to figure out, but I couldn't figure it out. So I think it depends on the ingredients, so that's what the future research requires. You said the amount of time, you mentioned time as a constraint. You said the amount of time that you left the antibacterial soap on your hands longer, you think that would have an impact? Dr. Jones asked if the soap was left on the hands longer, if it would have more of an impact. I don't think it would have more of an impact if it was left longer. I think a shorter amount of time would have produced a better result. Um, so where did the water come from that they used to wash the hands? Mrs. Collins is asking where the water came from. We, we did it in the lab, so it was coming from the pipes from the lab. Do you think that that could play a factor in future um, investigations? Ms. Collins is asking if that could play a factor in future investigations. Actually, yes, because in the lab, there's like a tube con con connected to the faucet. So sometimes they had to actually pick up the tube to actually get the water on their hands. So they could have gained more bacteria from having to do that. Were you blind to which participant was using which soap, or did you have that knowledge? Mrs. Ms. Kent is asking, was I blind to which participant was using which soap? Yes. Okay, no, I was not, but however, I did not know. I knew the participants' names, but while counting the bacterial colonies, I didn't know which participant was which. Did you ask any of your literature review to come up with your method um, of how you went through the procedures with the hand washing? Mrs. Buller is asking if I use any of my sources to come up with my procedure for the hand washing. Yes, I did, but then I actually manipulated it more to my own than actually using theirs. <laughs> 